Uh, dear colleagues, my name is Richard Sighart and I'd like to present some use cases of our toolbox Chorus, dedicated for the analysis of SAR time series of artificial radar reflectors. It is a common practice in INSAR geodesy to install corner reflectors at areas lacking natural coherent scatterers to get a reliable displacement time series over the critical zones such as landslides. Moreover, corner reflectors co-located with GNSS uh, provide an INSAR datum connection and quality control. And concerning the installation of such corner reflector networks, one might require a dedicated software for lightweight analysis of their SAR measurements to operationally monitor their reflectivity and displacement time series. Therefore, we develop an open source Python toolbox, Gecoris. Its data I.O. modules are built on the ESAS Sentinels application platform. And here we show its use case on the network of 48 corner reflectors for landslide monitoring in Slovakia using one year of Sentinel-1 time series. So Gecoris contains three primary modules and the first module is for the network design. And one can compute the expected radar cross-section of the reflector given its geometry and estimate the clutter level of a particular site before the reflector installation using historical SAR data to obtain maps of the simulated signal to clutter ratio for optimizing the reflector placement. Once the reflectors are installed, uh, the second module is used for their precise positioning and reflectivity analysis. And we estimate the precise sub-pixel positions and power of the reflectors by FFT oversampling and peak fitting. And we also include the known positioning timing corrections, uh, such as datum differences or atmospheric delays in case one would like to analyze the absolute positioning errors. Afterwards, from the amplitude time series, one could estimate the radar cross-section to track a corner reflector's performance in time and detect outliers, for example due to damage or accumulation of debris or precipitation. Consequently, one can estimate the signal-to-clutter ratio to predict the positioning, precision and INSAR phase variance. And here we implement our novel temporal estimation methods, which may provide less biased SCR estimate for INSAR corner reflectors compared to standard spatial estimation method. So for almost all corner reflectors in our network, we achieve average SCR above 20 dB attaining the decimeter level positioning precision and submillimeter in our phase variance. And we also identify two problematic reflectors under suboptimal clutter conditions. Finally, the last module of Gecoris is used to estimate the INSAR displacement time series of a corner reflector network, also integrating the surrounding high quality persistent scatterers. So, given the robust RCS outlier detection, we achieve average RMSC for most of the reflectors between 0.6 to 0.9 millimeters, which emphasizes the potential for early warning. And using double corner reflectors with co located GNSS, one can get an assumption less decomposition of line of sight displacement time series into the vertical and horizontal displacement time series, which is especially important to correctly interpret the landslide movement. So thank you for your attention and for more detailed information, please check our Gecoris paper and Gecoris is also available as public Bitbucket repository.